Salve and Mukul Rohit give urged the Supreme Court to curtail the powers of Enforcement Directorate. They said, and I quote, no one is safe in the country if the ED is not reined in, end of quote. The two lawyers were arguing against the arrest of their clients. Basant and Pankaj Bansal, the promoters of Guru Gram based realty group M3M Developers. Ashmit Kumar joins us now with more. Ashmit, strong statements made against the ED by Harish Salve, accompanied by Mukul Rohotki in this matter. Indeed, some very strong comments being made with respect to the role uh, that the Supreme Court needs to play in terms of quote unquote reining in the powers of the ED. Now, just for context, the case at hand is that of the ED investigation into uh, M3M uh, directors and promoters, the Bansals, uh, and the ED is essentially ch probing charges of bribery, uh, bribes being paid allegedly uh, by these persons to a, uh, to a special CBI judge. Now, as a part of that investigation, they were uh, arrested on June 14th, and subsequently we've seen a whole host of proceedings. The Bansals moved the Delhi High Court, did not get any relief, and then finally this case came up before the Apex Court, where Hari Salve flanked by the former Attorney General Mukul Rahadgi uh, made some very pointed suggestions. Number one, they argued that if these powers are not reined in of the ED, powers of arrest, if not reined in, then no one in the country will be safe. They went on to argue to justify their stance by saying that uh, in this case, the, uh, the persons in question, the accused persons, Bansals, had been cooperating, that it is not the ED's case that they were not cooperating. Yet, despite that, the ED decided to go ahead and that it does uh, decided to go ahead and arrest the persons in question. Not only that, uh, Hari Salve further argued that uh, not only were they cooperating, they were also protective orders in their favour uh, from the Punjab and Haryana High Court and that this action by the ED is almost as if it is in circumvention of that Punjab and Haryana High Court and that, importantly, uh, that there is no argument made by the ED that there were any violation of the terms of that protective order. So the proceedings today ended with essentially the counsels uh, for the affected parties, the Bansals in this case, pointing out that they will now be moving the jurisdictional court of Punjab and Haryana High Court for seeking relief. But it does raise the larger question of the powers of the ED. And I say that because in the month of July of last year, in 2022, is when the Apex Court had granted its approval to sweeping powers that the ED has for arrest, search, seizure, uh, for attachment of assets. But importantly, just the very next month in August of 2022, the Supreme Court decided to hit a pause and said, look, that there is perhaps uh, a room for revisiting this judgment, re-looking at the powers available to the ED. And that review continues to be uh, pending before the top court. So important question that the Apex Court now need to uh, perhaps look at. Well, Harish Salve and the former Attorney General there in the Supreme Court saying that the Supreme Court needs to step in and rein in the powers of the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, and if they don't do so, no one in the country is safe. That is the comment coming in from Harish Salve. Ashwit, many thanks for joining us. We will